Good morning. I have some exciting news. I have a job interview tomorrow at a hospital for a graduate nurse residency program position. So today I need to prepare myself for the interview. I need to find an interview outfit. I need to um, get my transcript, my resume, my letters of recommendation, all of that good stuff. I need to get it all together in a nice little portfolio thing and I need to just prepare. Practice some interview questions. I've been practicing all of this for the past week now. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I'm also like super nervous. I have not been on a job interview. I have not had a job since 2014. So I haven't been on a job interview since then. And the job in 2014, it was like, it wasn't a, a um, like a job job. So it was just like, okay, what's your availability? And blah, blah, blah. So this job, I know it's gonna be asking questions that I need to be able to answer. So yeah, um, I'm excited because I don't want to really give too much information on it, but I'm just excited. No matter the outcome, I'm excited about the opportunity. And oh, I also have another job interview. Y'all, God is like so good. For another graduate nurse residency program next week. I think next week or the week. It's like the first week in April. So yeah, um, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Um, just a little bit about the, so if you don't know about graduate nurse residency programs, so once you become a nurse, you graduate from nursing school, you have the opportunity to just get a job, that a regular job, like on a floor as a new nurse. And they will train you, but usually they only train you for about six weeks and then they kind of like, you know, put you out maybe on the floor you still have help however graduate nurse programs are designed to help the graduate nurse transition from a student nurse to a graduate to a new nurse so it's like some programs are like three months of one-on-one -on -one. so some of them are like the first six weeks you do classroom work and simulations and then the next a uh, couple the remainder of the time you kind of get on the floor with the preceptor so you're kind of covered and protected versus just starting a new job so um, I'm I would prefer a graduate nurse program residency program just because I know that they're gonna I'll be well supported protected and and um, it'll help me transition into the role as a nurse but I am not limiting it to just that. Like I'm applying to any and everything. So I'm excited about that.
palm on her. So I just had my first job interview. Scary, 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 but it was really Taking a second to appreciate this moment, you know? I feel like sometimes I don't just be in the moment, but man, I have come so far. So I have an interview today and I'm up at 10.30 at night because I cannot sleep. I'm thinking about the interview and it just keeps playing over and over and over in my head. Like, should I have said something else? Did I not say enough? Did I say too much? Should I have did this or did that? Did they like me? they not like me is there somebody else there that they like better and it's just the waiting game is horrible I have been in this position before where I wanted something really really bad and I got all the way to the end and it was rejected so I'm afraid of that but I have to try and keep a positive attitude and understand that if I don't get this then this is not for me I read somewhere that re sometimes rejection is God's protection so I'm trying to keep that in mind that if I don't get this it's not for me it's not in my plan so but when you want something so bad you know it's hard to see you know it's hard to handle rejection, so yeah. I'm just gonna pray tonight and I'm gonna pray that I have the strength to deal with whatever outcome and yeah. So I wanted to make sure I documented this part because it's real.